Hi, Colbova. Welcome in. Did you see? There's a new global emote. It's Pop Nemo, I think. Yeah. It's for the new Party Animals game, which I will not be playing. Dino Dance is better? Yeah, I guess. You know, Pop Nibble's kind of basic, but... I like them both. I, I really like how Twitch is adding more animated emotes. Hi, Keelan. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? I'm double checking my goal live tweet to make sure I spelled live right this time. And I did, guys. I did. Something that I hate when people like upload TikToks, it'll. You can't. You have to like manually enable captions. I personally choose to not put um, captions on the actual video because then if people download it or if somebody has their own captions like on their phone or in the TikTok app, it'll like it'll overlap and it really bothers me. But all you have to do is check a box to allow automatic captions like on YouTube. It's it's so easy. Because half the time. I watch TikToks on mute because I I know it's like it's sometimes it's too much to like listen to all the audio, but it's like just enable captions, please. Anyway, how was your guys' this weekend? Anybody do anything fun? I went to IHOP. <laughs> it was actually pretty good. <laughs> That I ordered, I got the I got the breakfast crib. Thirty seconds and I'll turn face cam on. Not even joking. Because we went on like we went on a Sunday morning. Sunday morning, rain is pouring. So it was really busy. A bunch of old people, right? Because that's when they offer the discounts, or when everybody's coming home from church, and. I got the breakfast crepe and it was so good. Crepes are hit and miss. No, no, no. They're always good, honey. They're always good. You cannot go wrong with a crepe unless they like burn it. Then that's a no. But hello everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. I'm on time. It's 11.03. Thank you to Kovobo and Keelan for chatting in the just starting soon screen. Hello. Guys, I stayed up until 11 p.m. working on a video. Um, it'll be out this Saturday, but I do have a new video out on my main YouTube channel. It's pinned in the chat. Go watch it. Go like it. Go subscribe now. It's fine if you click off the stream. Just come back. Anyway, because for my YouTube channel, I'm trying to like get like a week ahead for the main channel. And then at least a month ahead for clips. Right now, I have clips for up till November. And then I just finished this week's video. And I posted a little teaser on my Twitter. Let's see if I can pull it up. 
Hi, Gio. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I say it's so funny. Dude, can, can Twitter just change back? To, or can X just change back to Twitter, please? Okay, wait. I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it up. Here. Okay, so I was editing this stream. The highlight will be out on this Saturday. Um, caption says, Finding screenshots for thumbnails will never not be funny. Which stream is this from? Any guessers? Does anybody know where these are from? Here, let me try and get a better crop. Because <laughs> usually I don't post for a thumbnail, so I have to, like, go back and, like, watch the edit and find, like, reactions. And I've learned I need to react harder. I don't even know what stream. You will see on Saturday. New video will be out on Saturday. I just finished it. Because it was a five hour stream that I cut down to like 30-ish minutes. But even that is brutal. But I edited it in two days. And it took me like two hours to make the thumbnail because I had to screenshot the game. I had to open the game again and take screenshots. And then find thumbnails. <laughs> You guys will see it on Saturday. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channels. Main channel, weekly videos out every Saturday. And then Clips channel, daily YouTube shorts, and old clips from stream. The Mario Party one? No. That's what somebody else guessed. And honestly, I do have the same reactions. But no, it's not Mario Party. I, I do need to get to editing the... um. What was the run called? The beating every single minigame in Mario Party stream, but that's another five hour VOD. I don't want to do that. That's going to be like a week long project. Okay, the dream, guys, the dream is I want to be able to edit like the regular, like bigger streams I do. Like if it's like a one off challenge or like a just chatting stream, I'm fine with editing on those. But like if I ever get monetization through like Twitch or YouTube, to where I can pay an editor, I want somebody to edit the actual gameplays and walkthroughs that I do. That's the goal. So my goal, next summer. Next summer, I'll be clouded enough and hopefully, or hopefully clouded enough so I can get an actual editor. That is my goal. Because it's probably going to take like a year until my disability gets approved. So hopefully, <laughs> if I ever get to a point where I can make like decent money from YouTube or Twitch, then it's fine if i'm on full disability but you know it's fine hi wheel welcome in can we get some yo's wait chat i owe chat a gifted sub i forgot um guys first not sub to chat and say hi i will gift you a sub this is from last week because last week i played mario party you know the rules if i get first chat gets a sub first person to type hi in chat who's a non-sub gets a sub today hi geo gets it and if I get first again today, we'll do the same spiel. Let's see. I should turn this off. Oh, Gio, your PFP is so cute! <laughs> there we go. Enjoy the gifted. You better use the emotes. I better see you use them in chat. Yeah, can we get some Whis ins in chat? <laughs> <laughs> so stupid <laughs> okay so that is from when did i play mario kart last like i think it was tuesday i think it was last tuesday it was tuesday or wednesday guys today the plan is if we're gonna be doing a classic piece in 17 stream we're gonna be doing some mario kart maybe some slime rancher and ama you know the drill i have my content planned out that i had months ago but feel free to also ask me your juiciest and <laughs> dude i i don't i'm uh, sorry <laughs> ask me your craziest questions i love mario kart okay <laughs> dude i cannot say the word h-a-r-d without thinking of bad things so i try my best to avoid saying it anyway <clears throat> What's my favorite racetrack or character? I will answer that when I play the game. <laughs> Let's see. 
Um, I really need to practice the new DLC, cause we did watch the direct last week, and oh my god. I got spoiled- no spoilers! Spoilers equals one million year ban. Um, the only thing I saw from the new, um, the last wave DLC is Diddy Kong. That's the only thing I've seen from the new wave. Once it gets announced when the actual date, when it's gonna be dropped, somebody please tell me. Cause I, I don't follow the Nintendo Twitter cause I don't want to get spoiled ever. Your favorite character ever has been Inkling? Okay, I'll play Inkling, but only today and only for like four races cause I don't like splatters. <laughs> A running gag I do with my sister is she doesn't like play Splatoon, but she just likes the look of the characters. So she has like a little Splatoon plushy keychain on her back. So I'll be like, hey sister. And I'll get really close. And I'll be like, are you a splatter? <laughs> I don't know how Diddy Kong was into the game already. We need Funky Kong back. I'll say it. Funky Kong was my favorite because I liked what he would say. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just realized. I was. I said. I was like, wait. I'll t wait, and I'll tell you who my favorite character is. That's like the first question that everybody asks. I usually don't play characters that I like. I. I know. I for sure hate heavy characters. I just cannot handle them anymore. But my favorite character to play- Oh! I was going for a skit! Is the audio delayed? Pause jam. Thank you. It was synced earlier. I don't know what's going on. Hold. Okay. Is it good now? <laughs> I think so. Okay, let me check too. It's good now. Thank you guys for telling me. I don't know what the issue is with my capture card. I literally checked it before and once I started stream. So usually to fix the problem now, I just have to undock and then redock my switch. Thank you for telling me. Yeah, chatters, don't ever be scared to like call a tech issue. I don't care, it doesn't bother me. The only time when, well, when would it get annoying if somebody keeps calling out tech shit? Um, I don't, I don't think I ever get upset. Because, like, since I'm smaller, like, uploading clips and highlights is very important for, like, my personal growth. So, like, if the audio is delayed, then it kind of, like, ruins the edit when I have to go back and review it, right? Because it just adds, like, another step. Like, I know how to resync the audio if it ever becomes desync, like, in post. But it just ruins it for, like, the people who want to watch the stream after it ends, I guess. Okay, I don't know this track at all. So thank you guys for calling out. How is this lap three? I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> VOD watchers, yeah. Imagine being a VOD watcher. The only VODs that I watch are sometimes like Hassan streams. But if it's for, if it's for a creator that is not necessarily my favorite, I will only watch back a VOD if I know for sure they won't make like an edited highlight. I- okay, I do watch a lot of Squeaks' VODs. Not saying that he's boring, but for some reason, they're really easy for me to fall asleep to at night. No hate! It's just for some reason, like, his laugh is really comforting, I don't know. Anyway, um, my favorite character is Rose Gold Peach, obviously, because it is a flex. And we love Peach! Oh my god, did you guys see the new Peach trail? Holy fuck! I'm so excited. My sister usually doesn't like Mario games, but she's excited to play the new Peach one. I hope there's a co-op mode. Didn't they ask you your favorite? I think 
we all said track and character. My favorite track will always be Kokoro Mall. It is my best track. I never get last. Besides the times that I do. The Peach game does look really fun. I do hope that in the trailer they didn't show like all the different costumes she has. Like I want there to be a few that are secrets. It's not out till March. You know, I can wait. Till marriage. <laughs> okay, where am I going? I hate this track. Visually, I love it, but this track is so confusing. I feel like there's more that they didn't show. Oh yeah, for sure. One thing, one thing that I like about most of the Mario platformer games is that there's always a secret world. There always has to be. I do think I- <laughs> I do think I want to go back and play more of Odyssey like on my own time. Because in my stream save I got a good handful of the moves. I got like 600 something I think. Oh dude, my lines are horrible. <laughs> oh, no. You think in the trailer they explicitly said that there's more that they didn't show? Oh. My reading comprehension and auditory comprehension has gotten a lot worse. And you know what? I'm gonna blame it on not me being dumb, I'm disabled. Easy. Dude, why? <laughs> this part is dumb. It's literally D U N. Wait, hold? Okay, that was pretty decent. I usually throw. If I don't get a three star go trophy, I am ending stream. And I will never stream again. Imagine. Nah, you guys got me for a long time. I'm not allowed to work, so I'll be streaming as long as I can't work. It's the best <laughs> excuse, because if someone disagrees, it's like you're able to. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I have permission to share this. Um... So my sister, she's on the spectrum, she's autistic. She was diagnosed when she was really young. So thankfully she had a lot of resources early on. But anytime, cause you know how you are with siblings, like you fight, you bicker, you call each other stupid. Like that's normal, right? So anytime I would call her stupid, she'd be like, you're ableist. But now, now I can play the disabled card. So I'll be like, hey, can you help bring the laundry upstairs? She's like, no. And I'm like, you're being ableist. So now she can get a taste of her own medicine. And I love it. Fuck me! Oh my god. No, I don't, I don't pull the card too often. The only time that I, like, have planned for when I'd have to, like, pull the card in public, that sounds so weird. Um, I personally choose to wear a mask in public. Everybody has their own right to choose to wear one or not. I personally still choose to wear one. I've worn one the whole pandemic and after when the restrictions were lifted. But my biggest reason is, um, I have an appointment later this week with my doctor and we're gonna talk about like if I should get surgery or not. Smile. So basically, if I have to get surgery, um, I have to like be very cautious. So like I would have to like be more mindful of how I conduct myself in public. So I'd have to wear a mask anyway. So if any bozo comes up to me and asks me, like, why are you wearing a mask? I live in Washington, like, the most fucking lib state. Um, I'm gonna be like, I'm getting surgery next week. Which is not a lie, but also, <laughs> like, kind of true, you know? I, I'm, like, ready for that to happen. And nobody is calling me up wearing a mask, because usually people wearing a mask here in Washington are, like, either Asian people or the elderly. Like, that's the pattern I've noticed. But if any bozo asked me, I'd be like, I'm getting surgery. And then they'll shut the fuck up. Oh, guys, the new COVID booster is out. Um, make sure to see if it's available at your local pharmacies or your doctor's offices. 
it's being distributed so it might take like two or three weeks for it to be available so make sure to schedule an appointment for your booster as soon as you can smile we love vaccines what color design is your mask i don't wear fabric ones anymore um i personally have single use like surgical masks and they're black so it's kind of cute <clears throat> Anyway, that's all that we'll talk about the vaccine. Another booster? Yeah. Um, apparently this booster is similar to the flu one, so it's just like a general booster. It's not like you have to get multiple shots within the next amount of months. <laughs> it's almost like there was another pandemic that started a few years ago, yeah. I, I don't know, one of my friends, like, he's a lib. He's a lib. So like, he's very like centrist, so whenever like I'll hang out with him, he be like, oh, why are you still wearing a mask? And I'm like, I'm disabled. And also, like, I just want to. Because, oh my god, okay. So I told you guys the story of how, like, some bozo walked up to my sister and was like, why aren't you smiling? Reminder, she's autistic. It was this elderly man, right? Uh, okay, I'll just tell the story again. So it was my sister and I, we were sitting on the bench at the bus station. And I have my headphones on. Oh, secret path? Okay. <laughs> So I have my headphones on, I see this like elderly man like approach my sister and he's like talking to her. And I didn't I didn't say anything because I assumed he was like asking for directions, right? And I see him like touch, like grab her shoulder, so I take my headphones off and I look at him. And I was gonna like yell, but like why are you fucking touching her? But then I heard him say God loves you and I was like, what? That's weird. And then he like walks away. And I, I turn to my sister, I'm like, what 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 did he do? I was like, why was he touching you? She's like, well, he we made eye contact, and then he said, why aren't you smiling? And then I said, I literally said, I'm autistic. And then he said, well, you should still smile when you look at people. <laughs> and then that's when he, like, touched her shoulder and said, God loves you or something. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, I can understand why some people would see that as like a nice gesture, but it's like, bruh, she's autistic. <laughs> she doesn't feel the need to smile, which is based. Anyway, so that was like that was like a month ago that happened, right? Um Wait, I need to focus. So anyway. Old people scare me, dude. You don't even know the half of it. So last week, my sister and I, um, Wait, sorry, she's texting me. <laughs> he thought God loving her would make her smile. <laughs> okay, so anyway. So last week, my sister and I went to, like, her weekly, um, like, work meetings, because she's unemployed now. L. So we have to, like, go in once a week to, like, do job coaching and stuff. I go with her to, like, be nice, be a good sister. So it's my sister and I and her job coach, like, sitting in a meeting room. And another worker comes in. And my sister and I go every week, so we're kind of familiar. Like, we know, we don't know everybody, but we're, like, we recognize people who are in the office space. So the guy comes into the room. He needs to talk to, like, the coach really quick. And he makes eye contact with my sister and I. And he's, like, looking at us. And he's, like... You guys don't smile much, do you? And granted, I wear my mask all the time. My sister sometimes does what she wasn't during this interaction. And my sister and I just look at each other like, Oh, not this again. But obviously, like, this guy was joking. But I pulled my sister aside after. I was like, are you okay? She's like, yeah, it was just awkward. She was like, I wanted to pull the autistic line again, but... She was like, I think I would have made him, like, feel really bad. <laughs> anyway. Guys, just don't talk to people in public if it's not, like, a nice thing to say. I think that's the general rule of them. Like, it's not that hard to just, like, shut the fuck up, you know? Anyway, call me based. <clears throat> like, there's no need to point out, like obvious things i think is the nice way to say it hmm. i'm trying to think of a scenario what should have happened to me i think you should only really point something out 
is if it's going to cause them harm. It's hard to think of like specific scenarios because <laughs> usually whenever like a bad interaction happens to me in public, I, I like hyperfix on it for on it for like a few hours because you know that's how anxiety works. But then I forget about it because then I tell myself like, oh, that was like a one minute interaction. I should not let it ruin my like twelve hour day. Like that's an irrational way to think. So I've gotten a lot better at like not spiraling throughout the day when in like one bad thing happens. But my general rule of thumb is, if you are in public, be nice. Like, you can ask people how their day is going, but if you notice something... Okay. <laughs> There's been... Okay, I have one example. Like, back when I worked at daycare, there were a few times where, like, the kids would point out my pimples, because it was when I was in high school and, like, had just graduated, so, like, my acne was really bad. So all the kiddos would, like, point out my acne. And obviously they're kids, so they don't know any better, but like if you're an adult or like an older teenager, you should know to like not point out acne or like if you see somebody has like a ward or something, like don't point it out. My boss told me I should be smiling because I'm changing the trash. That's psychotic. <laughs> That's like some Chick-fil-A shit. Gotta be smiling all the time. But <laughs> what? Like, normal person is gonna be happy to take out the trash. Like, what? It's a wild thing. It's like, I expect the garbage man to be disgruntled, you know? I expect them to be having a bad day, because nobody wants to be taking out trash. <laughs> Ew, what's on your face? Yeah, that's what some of the kids would say. And it would, it would either be like the youngest ones or the, the ones who are like mature enough to know that's not a nice thing to say. But you know what? Sometimes I did love their honesty. You know what else I love? Um, getting new followers. Because guys, we are 30 minutes into stream. So if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to dive in chat. Can we hit our daily goal? <clears throat> Surprised no little kid has called me gay. <laughs> when, when do you guys think your gaydar is like activated? Because I know when I was little, I kind of knew I was queer, but I just didn't know like the label for it. I think the only time I started picking up that like other people around me were queer was when I was in like middle school. So that's when like people could be a bit more expressive. Because when I was in elementary, um, one of my elementary schools required a uniform and the other didn't. But obviously when kids are little, like, a lot of parents, like, will put them in the... I'm oh, sorry, this is gonna sound lit as fuck. <laughs> we'll have them wear, like, very gender norm clothing. Like, I know my parents stopped dressing me when I was in, like, fourth grade, so that's when I started wearing, like, less skirts and more, like, shorts and pants, personally. But like, I don't- Come on. Fuck him! Oh my god. See, I don't think I look queer. Like, usually whenever I ask chat, you guys are like 50-50. But granted, you guys only see like the top half. You know, you guys don't see me walking around with my fabric tote bag. Which I think is the gayest thing you can do. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I think it's activated pretty young now that kids have iPads. Oh, for sure. Once I started using the internet, that's when I became like more mindful. And I guess got exposed to more things. Not in like the negative sense. It just gave me, like, an explanation for what I was feeling. It's harder to tell with girls. Dude. You don't know the struggle, man. 
Like, I be thinking every artsy girl is fucking gay. But then they just like indie music. It sucks. <laughs> Dude, if we get Toad's Factory in the final DLC, I'm literally gonna cry. Nothing will make me happier. Yeah, I remember playing Toad's Factory on the Wii, but I don't know if it was, like, initially on the Wii. It's because this music sounds so similar to it. <laughs> Not me missing every single item box. Dude, I love Mario Kart. I'm so good at this game. I've been thinking so many L's. I feel like all the Mario Kart music is a blur besides Rainbow Road. I mean, that's how I used to think too, but I play Mario Kart like every week or every other week, and usually I can tell songs apart from each other. Some of them are very distinct, some are very similar. Like, I don't think I'd necessarily be able to identify a song if it played. Like, if I listen to a music comp on YouTube, I might be able to figure it out. It's crazy how every single track has its own theme. I know! Like, I wonder how long it takes to compose, like, original music. Like, that many. It's insane to me. And I feel like every single track has some aspect that's still unique. And like, you also have to think of compositions that sound good when they're sped up as well. No, you're good, Wheel. You're good. Yes, that Mario Kart song? Wait, that could be a good stream. Wait. Well, we will do that. I will do that. Somebody write it down. I should write it down on my phone. That'd be a really fun stream. Cause like, I'm making a list of more just chatting streams to do, cause I think just chatting will make a comeback to the channel whenever my sister works. Cause, um... Cause like, I have to help her with job shirts like three days a week. Cause we do LinkedIn learning together in the evening, and then I help her some days in the morning. So it's kinda like, that. that's also why I've been streaming less, cause like, it's... It's stressful. <laughs> um... See, guess the Mario Kart song. Because, like, you know how people have done, like, guess the 2000s pop song? But I can't do that on stream because it's obviously copyrighted. But, like, we can for sure do the Mario, Mario Kart. And I would be so good at it! <clears throat> how would I make that, though? I think I'd have to make, like, a slideshow. I'd have to edit clips. I'll figure it out. Anyway, so, like, I will for sure do more just chatting streams once I have more, like, less on my plate, let's say. I hate this track. It's too brown. It looks like boo. Maybe do a list of things that people can vote? I do. I cannot wait till I can afford to have like a production crew. Cause something that I love about watching like obviously the larger streamers is they can have like a staff of team like either code them or make them graphics. Like custom for like any stream they want to do. And that's what I want so bad. Cause like if I could find a way to, similar to like you know how when you play like um, draw full on stream? So where viewers can type and it automatically registers as a guest for Pictionary. 
I want something I should have thrown behind. I wish, dude, if I knew how to code, I would be dominant. Which I know some HTML and CSS. <laughs> People who have teased for making videos are so professional. I know. <laughs> Because you know how there's like some smaller creators and you watch them and you can tell they're not like creative people? Like, I feel like if I had a whole crew then I can make some good shit. Not glazing- <laughs> not glazing myself. But... I think that's one of the downfalls of like YouTube or streaming. Is you put a lot of the, I guess, your creative energy and effort into one person. And that's why a lot of people Hmm. I'm gonna lump myself into this. I feel like that's a big reason why a lot of people don't push themselves. Because I know, like, I have ideas that I want to do. And there's obviously a limit to, like, how much I can do as an individual. Like, whether it be, like, my artistic skill or production skill or marketing skill. But if you have, like, a small team of, like, five to ten people, because that's all you really need is a, like, a small and upcoming creator. Like, I want to have... One of my long-term goals is I want to have, like, a design studio. Not necessarily for film or production, but I'd want it to be for art. I want to have a print shop. Like, having, like, screen printing for shirts or, like, block prints for, like, actual paper prints. Oh my god, guys! I finally got my stamp carving tools for my parents, which means I had my sister ask for me. Um, so now I can start car- now I can carve stamps again. Let's do online. You guys know the rules. If I get first, chat gets a sub. Only one time, though. If I get three wins, then the, that does not mean three subs. Um, so now I can carve stamps again. Let's do comic. And I have- Okay, one of the ideas I want to do for stamps is I want to make, like, large illustrations, like, 4 by 6 And then... Because you can get, like, waterproof ink. So I want to do waterproof ink and then watercolor the illustration. That way I can sell the print for, like, $20 instead of, like, $5 for, like, a simple print. That is what I want to do when I have time. Okay, I have time, but... Did I DC? I said I was spectating. How do you make a seven even? Take away the S. Go back to the drawing board. Hi, Aslan. <laughs> Welcome in. Go get some yo's. Hello. <laughs> that is one joke that I have not heard. So, plus one, I guess. I hope you're doing well, man. You've always enjoyed group work rather than individual? I used to feel the opposite. Like, I used to hate group projects. But that was in school. Like, once you start doing group projects for, like, work or college, then I feel like there's so much more meaning behind it. Because if it's in college, then, like, you're usually working with people who, like, like the topic. And if it's for work, then I feel like there's, like, a profit incentive if you do well. But one of my biggest fears for if I ever do get to a point where I can, like, hire people on, like, it would take so much for me to, like, have them earn my trust. Like, I'm, I'm very, I don't like people helping. I'm very independent. Or you could say stubborn. Like, if I have somebody work under me, like, I'd have to monitor them so much. Am I the group leader or follower? Ooh. We'll talk about that in a second, when we're done spectating. You've only done college work so far? Well, it's surprising, because my college program is fully online. It's for graphic design. We didn't have any group projects, but how every project worked is we would post our progress pics and then finals to like a discussion board, and we had to like do critiques. We had to like listen to the critiques. So that was the most group interaction we had. And there were some projects where you worked more coincided with your professor, so it kind of felt like more like a group project. 
You earn trust through money? <laughs> yeah, I'll just pay them off. <laughs> exactly. If I have a workplace, no unions. We hate unions. Just kidding. Dude. This year is the year for labor. It seems like everybody is striking, which we love. I hated projects, but it turns out it was the autism. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> when people didn't understand me, I can't imagine how difficult it is to, like, communicate in the sense of, like, having people understand your lived experience. That's something that I try to do with my sister. Like, if I'm explaining something to her, um, because I understand that not everybody is mindful or educated about, um, people who are neurotypical. So I try to help her with, like, baseline phrases so that people can understand how to communicate a bit better with her. Um, I think something that took a, a while for her to like learn was not to be afraid to ask for accommodations or ask for help or ask like her superior at work to re-explain something or have her have them write out directions for her. Um, I understand it's harder like if you're younger. I do feel like the younger generation is a lot more mindful now. But... I, I personally am not on the spectrum, but I do demonstrate a few signs. <laughs> My sister. <laughs> I talk about her a lot, and there will be a time where she'll come on stream, she said, but not for like a million years. But in reality, that means like maybe a year she'll show herself on stream. But I know I sometimes have to be careful with how I word things. Um, I'm trying to think of an example. Uh, something that's very easy- Oh, first place, guys. Clip, clip. Um, something that's like an easy ask. Um, it'll be like, my sister, I encourage her to like, can you ask for like an email about what we discussed today at work? Or can I get like- a list of articles of everything we discussed. Another thing is you can simply ask for captions if they're playing a video or a transcript to look at after. And for the most part, if it's reasonable and if you kind of... I usually just tell her if somebody asks why to simply say it's easier for her to like understand and like... and I guess retain what she's been told. Because otherwise, I feel like people will think that you're, like, lesser or, like, less intelligent. I don't want people to assume that. Easy! Oh, am I gonna get first on my, what, third race? Okay, everybody's really close. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Whoa! Animal Crossing is another one of my better tracks. It is, like, top five. Let's go. Easy! Dude, like, the third race of the day. Let's fucking go. Okay, I am one of the higher ranked in this lobby. Guys, first non-sub to type in chat gets a gifted sub. You gonna know the rules. If I get first, chat gets a sub. First non-sub to type, um, 21 in chat gets a sub. Easy! Look at me crown on my head! Where was I going with that tangent? For me, I make a meticulously detailed outline and still get surface level questions at work. Ideal meal. Cool, Bobo, you have a sub, Bozo. <laughs> I, th I think the biggest thing is don't be scared to ask for more clarification on something. Because legally in the workplace and schools, like, 
they have to make reasonable accommodations and the word reasonable is where a lot of companies will like make violations you could say and obviously like only your superiors should know about your actual diagnosis like you should never have to share your diagnosis with anybody only hr and maybe management would know if you tell them you feel bad about asking oh that's something you will have to get over and you will get better at it with time like i personally i am so self-conscious all the time it used to like control my whole life and it was it got to a point where it was really bad a lot of it came down to me not like rationalizing my thoughts and hyper focusing on like how people perceive me and the only way i got over it was simply not caring it's a lot easier to say than do but i think the biggest thing that helped me was to try and be more present in the actual moment like instead of thinking about something that i said two hours ago or thinking about what someone possibly will think about me in an hour after i say said thing i will try to look at the things around me like in the room or outside because if i'm focusing on what's directly in front of me then it was a lot easier to not think about what was in my head um that's just like one of the simpler grounding techniques that helped me a lot Because when you subtly, like, observe the world around you, you- it reinforces the idea that everybody is only really thinking about themselves and not necessarily you. Or- that's what my therapist told me. <laughs> Fuck me! Oh my god, I hate this track so much! Like, why did- Why did this one have to come after, like, my win? I'm gonna look like such a loser now. It plays. I love Mario Kart. Ooh, Sunshine Airport. If I get Sunshine Airport, I literally will win. Not even kidding. Oh, going back to the group question. Um, when I was younger, like in middle school and early high school, I would be the follower. I would always have somebody else take charge because I just didn't like the idea of being responsible. And I was also just too shy. But as I grew older, so like in late high school and college, I will always be the leader. Mainly because I understand that reputation is on the line for any group project. So if I can take charge and ensure that me along with the group does well, then it makes us look good. But it also comes back to the issue of like not trusting other people to do a good job. It was mine. I'm gonna get first, not even kidding. Any streamer, who would it be? Honestly, Ludwig. I feel like any collab stream that Ludwig does, it goes crazy. Even though Hassan is my favorite, like, he would just pull up a Joe Rogan video. And I'll be honest, whenever Hassan watches Joe Rogan, I skip that part of the bot. I think it's annoying. Because Joe Rogan is an idiot. Anyway. But Ludwig, Ludwig was the first room I ever watched, and I do feel like it'd be fun.
Because if I'm gonna do a collab with somebody, I want it to be like enjoyable. I don't want to do it for a gimmick. I want to like genuinely have fun doing it. If it's like if it's with someone that I don't know, like if I'm collabing with a friend, then I can already like feel out the vibe. But I feel like if you're collabing with a stranger, then the actual premise of what you're doing has to be fun in itself. What the fuck? I've never had that happen. Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna get first. Will I do more streams with Emmy? Probably. You will see. I mean, she and I are planning something soon. <laughs> Mr. Beast Gaming times Peace in 17. I don't know. I Mr. Beast, he has too much clout. I would be scared. You know, if, if he ends the collab with giving me like a thousand dollars, then I do. I just feel like the larger audience you're in front of, the more scrutiny you'll face. And I, I think like he has way too big a platform. I would be too scared. Dude, fuck this game. Peace and Ghost Kitchen franchise collab. <laughs> no, there, there are like definitely a few Ghost Kitchens like in my area for like DoorDash and shit. Cause it'll have the address at like an actual restaurant change that it that is like not the like artsy name of the shop. And I'm always tempted to order, but I know it's gonna be shit. In person stream, I had to sign an NDA. Damn, where is everybody going? Peace and times Chuck E. Cheese. I thought about like, like doing a vlog, not a stream. I I wouldn't want to stream, but like a vlog at a Chuck E. Cheese. But like, I remember watching Extra Emily do a Chuck E. Cheese stream, and all I could think about is like, everybody watching you filming yourself or having somebody film you at Chuck E. Cheese doing little arcade games, and like, what would all the parents think? Like, they're just gonna think you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I would do Chuck E. Cheese. Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese? Somebody do it. Okay, this is definitely one of the harder tracks, but I think I'm decent at it. Okay, that- <laughs> I- I stopped the drip too early. See, this is where everybody throws, but I'm cranked. People staying overnight at Walmarts, dude. I love those videos. <laughs> I just think it's so funny because, like, usually those type of pranks are harmless. Like, it's not like they're hurting anybody. Like, the most that'll happen is like you'll piss off the worker. But it's like it's just funny. <laughs> like, I, I do hate the prank videos when people will like intentionally like be like mean or rude or like destroy like a display of the shop. Like, I think that's. Cause then you're like inconveniencing somebody. But like if a worker just like moves a box and they see you on this show, they think it's hilarious. And it's not like they're going there to steal, they're just going there to like do a little brain. Oh my god, I hate this. Have I ever considered streaming a horror game? Yes. 
I do have a few games picked out for October, so in a few weeks, I will be doing some horror games. I don't think I want horror to become like my mainstream like type game, because whenever I watch scary movies or thrillers or games, like I enjoy the experience of like watching and playing it, but I usually get nightmares after. Similar to when I had like my true crime phases, like I enjoyed like it was interesting content, but I would have very bad dreams. So I can only do it so often. So yes, horror games will make a comeback this October. The scary games you've played are so dark. Yeah, a lot of them had like themes of unaliving, and I I was triggered. I think this year I have like one like Japanese anime-esque RPG. I do have the um I bought the sequel. It, it was the last horror game we played on stream. It was the one where the teacher was like the monster. God, you guys oh, it's so by the way, I bought the sequel. It's a standalone sequel, so you don't have to watch the first game. The only horror game I've played is Resident Evil. I don't think I'd ever play Resident Evil for stream, because, like, I like playing games on stream if they're story-based, if I haven't seen any of the gameplay. So, usually whenever a new Resident Evil game comes out, I usually watch somebody play it. Ooh, chose mine again! Because I feel like most storylines these days are so predictable. But it's still, like, nice to, like, go in blind. The Coma, yes, that was it. The game is called The Coma. And the sequel is called, like, The Sisters or something. Roblox horror games are my only extent. Oh, you're gonna have some fun then, man. I'm in first clip, clip, clip. Okay, Wildwoods is another one of my better tracks. Two bananas in first? Okay. Imagine somebody actually clips every time you're at first. I mean, what if they're just trying to make like an epic gamer compilation? Like, you know how people will clip their Valorant snipes? I want somebody to clip all my times I get first place. Even if it's, even if it's for like half a second. I want to see that first in the bottom right corner. And so I feel good about myself. <laughs> I, I think I do decent in Mario Kart. Okay, I definitely play a lot better off stream. I can't admit that. Holy moly, I have had no issues this level. Classic! Classic! They should just clip every time you lose first. Well, now they have a clip right there. Guys, whoever makes the best and most clips every month gets a gift card, smile. And VIP. Who wants it? Damn, I... I hit somebody with a green jump, but then I also hit myself. Jump scare! <laughs> Can I clip on mobile? Yes, sir. There you go. There's an article on how to clip Geo. You know what else I gotta do? Guys, I gotta write an ad. Also, I owe chat a gifted sub, so Baron, you will get it.
Enjoy the sub! That's what you get for me. Me getting first. <laughs> okay. Guys, I have to run an ad. So, we are an hour into stream. If you want to avoid that ad, I gotta do a subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime Day Twitch and hashtag sub for me with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. It is also September, so all subs are discounted. Smile. That was quick. <clears throat> oh, there's a little dog on the mailbox. I never noticed that. I should <laughs> I don't know why I was holding it for so long Easy Dude, why did he throw the red shell? It was literally so dumb Yeah, I Does my roommate still has his prime Still has his Prime account, so I chose to cancel mine. But you know, Prime is very helpful. I usually don't do the same day delivery, because like, all I can think about is the workers working their ass off all day every day, and I feel bad. But I do love the, I guess, accessibility of it. Ain't no way! That was bullying. I don't know what happened to the drones. Do they not use the drones anymore? That, I think, is the only, like, acceptable form of animation. Fuck! Why can't the border blind just, like, eat backwards? 24-hour delivery should not be a thing. Or same day should not be a thing. I'm indifferent. Because, like, I feel like half the time whenever I did choose to get same day, it would just arrive the next day. Fuck! Damn, I didn't realize I was this close to the front. Damn. Damn. Give one sec, I gotta check something. Sorry, it's my sister. I've seen random moms deliver my package. <laughs> I do know that Amazon does hire like third party companies. Just because the order volume is so high. say they hate automation 
because they fail to realize how automation has made most workplaces in your ability to get goods like food or house items relatively quickly. Like, if you hate automation, then you hate literally every machine. Like, there's no way that you think that everything should be made by hand. I understand that some jobs are lost, yes, and some skills are kind of lost in the trade. But then you're gonna have less access to the modern amenities that you have. I do not think that AI is like full automation. Because it's not like automation traditionally like mimicked a human conscience. That is I think where I draw my line with automation. Like if you're just making robots or how they have kiosks for self-checkout or if you're buying food for a dine-in, I think that's fine because that like expedites the work process. And then you'll, you'll probably get your amenity faster. But if it's for something more creative, then I don't think it's appropriate to automate it with AI. Because that's an expression. Not necessarily a product, I guess. Can I throw back to Peace and Bot? Yeah, somebody pull up the video. No, I saw it! I do so well, and then I make one little mistake, or one item, and it ruins everything. Did the peace and bot take over? Yes, I'm a robot. Beep boop. Will Mario Kart tournaments ever make a comeback? You mean Meg Esports? Um, probably not. The main reason why I chose to not continue them is because, like, you know how some days I don't feel good to stream? And there were some tournaments where I, like, had to force through it. And I don't feel like that's good for me. I want to see if I can beat Tanuki. No shot. No way. Nobody can beat Tanuki. Not uh. <laughs> you should one v one of them next time you see him in chat. <laughs> Hasn't Crystal beat Tanuki? I beat Tanuki one time. It's possible. Because when it comes to skill, it's about consistency in my opinion. Like there's always gonna be batters who strike out occasionally. Wolves is super good too. Yeah, a lot of people have like, gotten actually cracked and it's kind of scary. I've started a revolution of pro Mario Kart players. Wait, I'm in first? Ain't no way. Okay, I'm gonna go up here to get an item box. I usually don't. very good at Mario Kart, but you've also been playing since 2014. Um, I played on the Wii. So, uh, before I Little Zoomers played, I played too. But I was really bad at the Wii version. Because <laughs> it was only tilt controls. 
I started playing Mario Kart because my, my sister had the Switch when she was in high school. And she just, like, wouldn't let me play it. I think I'm decent. I'm no sweat. I don't know any cool drifts. But I kind of know what I'm doing. You've been playing since 64? Oh. Guess you're all game and not tough. I'll take a second. Do you have a plan for September? Um, I will be doing a subathon on September 30th. Oh, for the subathon? No, I signed an NDA. I signed an NDA, I cannot leak. Aren't you going to be doing a lot of stuff? Yeah. I mean, it kind of depends. There's like one big factor I'm still trying to get worked out. And I signed an NDA, so I cannot say. All I can say is that I might not be alone. That's, that's all I can say. Am I for the Celadon? No, unfortunately not. That was initially the plan, but Emmy has family plans that weekend. Because Emmy and I were like planning bits and shit, and then she's like, "Wait, I'm hanging out with family," and I was like, "Fuck." I can't farm anymore! <laughs> Wait, okay, I'm also really good at Moo Moo Meadows. First, clip it! <gasps> I looked at chat! I'm not reading chat ever again! Okay, so when Mario Kart was on the DS, was it tilt controls or was it buttons? I never played. Rude! How dare you have a boombox? Yes, was just buttons? Okay. I don't know, I would have sucked so bad. Tilting a whole DS. I don't know. Some little mobile games on your phone are motion controls. Tilt controls are only the Wii? Okay, that's what I assume. But you know, I'm clueless. Rise across. I 
I'm getting so close. I'm like, I think I'm doing pretty well today. I've gotten one first. I've gotten a good handful of seconds and thirds. Also, like, a few tenths. Not bad. It could be because, like, I don't play every day. I feel like if I played Mario Kart every day, it would break my brain. I thought that was gonna be a crazy finish. I mean, it was decent. Because I had, I had a boom box and then I had a boomerang. I did hit him with the boomerang. So if I would have probably used the boom box sooner and then used at least one more hit on the boomerang earlier, then I might have gone first. Not bad. Only, only nine people. Maybe I can actually clutch. Hmm. I also want to change my character after after this race. Remind me. See, I would be able to recognize the song instantly. Okay. If we're gonna do a guess the Mario Kart theme song, I would need a list of all the track names, cause I for sure recognize the song and the visual of the track, but I can't recognize names. try and do for the stream is I want to make like uh, how, how can I describe it I want to make a graphic to where I can move similar to like a bingo board like imagine a grid and it has like the name of the song and then I want to move images of the track to the space that has the song name on it get boomed Wait, hold, hold. First. He was right in front of me. I just want one more dub. That's all I want. It'll cure my depression. <laughs> Imagine. I'll play as Babe. We never play as Bowser Jr. Oh, I hate all these. so small I forgot he gets tossed around 
I'm changing. I hate baby characters, I forgot. You know what else I hate? Okay. <laughs> Something that I try to communicate with my friends that I like text a lot is I personally hate whenever I hear the oh, can I call you or we need to talk. Even if it's just like spilling drama, something that I've communicated, I'll be like, okay, if you want to talk to me and I can't necessarily like talk with you right away, like for example, if I have like an appointment or if I'm on stream, be like, hey, can I talk to you about this later? Or I need to talk to you. And like in parentheses, but like it's drama or it's um, personal stuff. Like just giving me like a little spoiler, a little teaser of what the discussion is going to be about helps me a lot because otherwise if I if you just say to me blankly like hey I need to tell you something or we need to talk like it really triggers my anxiety so much because all I can think about is like oh they hate me or like something really bad happened or another example is like when they need to like share something or vent like if you could give me like if, in that case it would be like an actual trigger warning <laughs> Like, if they need to vent, be like, oh, it's about family or work. I'll be like, okay, cool, I can, like, prep myself for that. Like, instead of just asking, can I share something, I will ask them to say, like, oh, can you give me a general, like, topic of what it's about? Because people aren't necessarily able to handle any conversation at any given time, you know? Because obviously, I have my triggers, they have their triggers. <laughs> I'm changing. I hate baby Bowser. Not last. It was not last. It was eighth. Also, I'm gonna double check that the audio is still synced. controller was glitched as fuck sorry okay seems fine thank you oh my god I, what the fuck was that? see like my controller working fine now oh maybe it's because i clicked home when i was in the waiting lobby maybe that's what caused the fuck up okay i was testing audio i was like moving my joy con like the joystick to the left but it kept moving right guys i'm a leftist i promise Possible to come back from? <laughs> um, guys, I swear I'm good. Don't look at the map. It's fake news. <laughs> oh, Sebastian Juicer smacks his a juicer. Yeah, he's a juicer. He's baby. Okay, he smacks his ass for some of the trick animations. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, okay, so this weekend my sister and I watched Turning Red, the Disney digital release movie that came out last year. And there's like 
a lot of butt jokes. And we were like, this is so weird. But then we remember that, like, kids just think butts are funny. Like, it's not like it's inappropriate, it's just like butts are hilarious. You keep getting stars? Yeah, I need it, dude! I'm in last place! Everybody was probably looking at Bowser Jr. on the map and be like, what is he doing? What is little bro doing? Oh wait, hold? Wait, now this is looking like a normal piece in 70th stream. I'm in 7th. <laughs> okay, how did I get 5th? If I got 5th from, like, not moving for the first, like, 20 seconds, I deadass would've gotten 1st. Chip, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. God, end me, please. Squeaky clean sprint. <laughs> the name is hilarious to me. Hi, AVR. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? First time chat. Welcome in. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. But hello, use your emotes. You have free follow ones. And sub emotes, wow. Someone gave me a sub to you? Let's go! You better use the emotes. I want to try and find the secret path again in the squeaky clean one. That is my goal. Before I start this race, my feet are falling asleep, so if I lose, that is why, okay? Peace I do punch is my favorite emote. Dude, I love it. I dead as think it's my favorite one I've ever made. It took me like an hour to edit it because I had to key out the background. And I didn't do it in front of a green screen. I did it like because my 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 room at the time was white, so I had to key out white and it was near impossible because it would key out my shirt too. Oh took an hour. <laughs> But Peace I Do Punch is so good. The reason why it's so good, um, art lecture, everybody, is because it's called foreshortening. You'll see it a lot in, like, anime or manga to where anatomy looks a lot larger in the picture than it does in reality. So whenever you see, like, somebody's foot really close in frame or in the instance of the emote, the punch, like, covers my whole body in some frames. Change characters, god damn it. He needs to stop smacking his ass. Bowser Jr. needs to be stopped. <laughs> I thought I helped I dead ass thought I was behind me, cause I okay. I got confused because I thought Bowser Jr.'s shell was my actual item shell. What happens if you become so big that every second somebody says peace I to yo? I'll be honest, I will not say hi to everybody. I feel bad, but you know, it just be like that. And I remember, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna get vulnerable. There was one time I was watching like a smaller streamer. And th this person at the time was averaging like 30 viewers. And this was when I was like very, you can say like incel, ins like insulin, like an incel, insulin. Is that the right word? Anyway. And I remember, cause this person was saying hi to like everybody else in chat besides me. And you know, I have anxiety brains. So I just think, oh, this person doesn't like me. They didn't say hi to me when I said hi in chat. And I remember I messaged, <laughs> my other friends who were like watching the stream too and i was like oh so and so didn't say hi i'm kind of sad 
And then they like called out the streamer for not saying hi to me in the chat. And I was so embarrassed. Like, anyway, going back to the main point, like, obviously, I will try to say hi to people as they come in. But if it's gonna like either interrupt the story time or if I'm in the middle of something of saying something, then I won't interrupt myself. But that's why, guys, um, if I don't say hi to you and you feel sad and you want me to say hi, just um, use your channel points and clock in and I'll say hi to you. I will give you that little crumb of attention. Your friends exposed you? Dude, I know. I was so embarrassed. And I felt like so shitty. Because my friends were in the chat being like, You didn't say hi to Peason. Say hi to Peason. She's crying. Obviously joking, but I felt like so bad. I felt so bad. This was like a year ago. Dude, I... I was such a little sh It's cause like... I know I'm very much a viewer when it comes to stream content. I know I'm a smaller creator. Ew. Um, so I kind of understand both perspectives. But I know it can... Uh, how do I say this? It is kind of like frustrating sometimes when a smaller creator doesn't read your message. And I know I don't necessarily read every single chat that I get in my chat room. But you guys know why. It's because if I reply to a chat, it has to be like funny. Or I can riff off of it. Like, I'm not, my job is not to read the chat out loud. Like, I'm not a TTS bot. That's not my job. My job is to make commentary off of what chat says or off of my own volition. Stop! This is killer commentary, isn't it? <laughs> so, chatters, I know it can be kind of discouraging if somebody doesn't read your message right away, but just know I, I don't do it because I don't like you. I'm doing it to prioritize like everybody's experience in the stream. Like if I gave every single viewer or chatter equal attention, even if they're saying like dumb shit that's like not funny, then it kind of ruins the- okay, ruin is not the good word. Um, it doesn't make it as entertaining for everybody. Because ideally what I want my stream to be- Because I understand that like not everybody can watch it live, so the VOD watchers for example, like they aren't gonna get the live engagement. So usually I assume they watch to hear what I have to say. Like, they aren't necessarily there to read what chat is saying. Like, they're there to keep, or they're watching the bot to see what I have said or what jokes I made stuff, right? And I definitely want my stream to be very audio heavy. That's why whenever I do play Mario Kart, I try my best to stay talking the whole time. That way, even if they're not necessarily, like, sitting and watching, I want them to be able to hear something the whole time. And I want them to- what they're hearing to have substance to it. Like, if everybody is just talking about their day and their dogs, then it gets kind of, like, boring a lot of ways. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to, like, not sound like a fucking bitch when I explain this, but... Like, just because something is entertaining to you as an individual doesn't mean that everybody will find it entertaining as well, is I think the best way to say it. Like, it's different if, um... Okay, the best way to explain this is if we are, like, goofing and gaffing about, like, rude customers, but then a few people are just talking, or one person is, like, talking about their dog. And it's like, okay, that's, like... That's, like, not related to the conversation, so it's like, I'm not gonna interrupt the current topic, Ron, to... I guess... Acknowledge that you're talking about your dog. I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. I wish chain chomps would have realistic teeth and I'd call them chain chompers. What are you talking about? <laughs> are you just typing your little notepad jokes in the chat? Come on. <laughs> okay. Okay, granted, random shit like that is good. You know what else is good? Following the channel, guys. If you like the rant and you agree, follow. Smile. Because we're another 30 minutes in the stream. What if they talk about their cats? Okay, chatters, let's do a little test run. 
I want everybody in chat to type what you did yesterday. Without DOXing yourself. Like, what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? It was really a random thought. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Because, like... I really like how my my chat room has evolved to, like, bounce off of each other or bounce off of what I say. You know, you guys will make jokes, too. Like, imagine if the whole stream, every single chatter just talked about their day. I helped my sister with work. Oh, you're such a good sibling, too. That's great. I went to Costco with my family, dude. If you go to Costco, you're fucking dumb. You know why? Because you're spending, one, the membership fee, which is scam. Like, you're just scamming yourself. And then also, like, with Costco, I feel like the portion sizes are way too big. Like, you're overbuying food, you're probably gonna throw it away. Costco only really makes sense if your parents, like, went crazy and had, like, 7 million kids. Like, they did the hanky-panky one too many times. I literally just did basic human stuff, like shit and piss. <laughs> God, fuck, dude, I can, I can just, I just can't make jokes. I'm, I can't make poop or piss jokes. I did some shiny hunting in Pokemon. I hate Pokemon, I'll say it. Cancel me. I, I can't do it. Okay, I don't think I would ever grind for shiny Pokemon. I feel like I would genuinely lose my mind. Because whenever I played any Pokemon game, it was enjoyable, but it wasn't my favorite. Like, my favorite part was, like, getting every single Pokemon in the decks, which I never completed because it's just way too many. You got paid yesterday? That's great! Wait, yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. Who, who gets paid on Monday? <laughs> oh, wait, I guess maybe we get paid half of the month. Why do you think Costco is only in the USA? Wait. Wait, Keelan's in the UK! I wait, I, I, I thought it was a domestic company too. Dude, I hate this game. The mail system gets delayed. Oh, I see. Dude, I think it should be law that every company should have direct deposit. I don't get why they don't. Okay, pause. See how. For every single person who said, oh, I did blank yesterday, I tried to have some, like, tangent to go off of it. And then also, um, for example, the Costco example, I said Costco is a scam. And then Kobobo said, why do I think Costco was only in the USA? So, and then I said, I didn't realize it was not a domestic franchise. So, see how in that, like, three minutes... Even if everybody said a different thing, like, I was able to put one additional tangent off of it. Because the, the way to do stream content when you're small, if you have any small streamers, L, honestly, get in the boat. Um, you, ha you have to learn how to improv. Like, you guys will probably see it with other smaller creators. Like, some chatter will come in and say, oh, this was how my day went. And then the creator will be like, oh, that's cool. And not not then not add anything, right? Um, like you as the creator, if you're small, you have to learn how to engage properly to encourage more conversation between other viewers who might who aren't related to that topic. Who co topic? A cap topic. But also notice how even though. I acknowledged, I think, I think I acknowledged everybody's main, like, answer to the question, but I didn't acknowledge, like, everybody else's different tangent. Because in that three minute period, I'll have to look back. I'm playing a game right now, obviously. I can't, I can't stop the game, it's online, mom. <laughs> Peace and give like a tutorial on how to converse. I mean, I'm pretty good at it, right? Smile. Anyway, so like, if I would have literally read out- I think I got like 20 messages in that three minute, three minute period. 
Like, if I would have read out all 15 to 20 of those messages, then it would have, like, I would not have had time to give my own input or tangent, right? So, guys, does that explain why I ignore some of you guys? Does that make sense? <laughs> not to be me, but some people are boring. <laughs> Ooh. Somebody clip it. Somebody cancel wheel. <laughs> no, but guys, I'm pretty boring. Like, I don't go out. I have no money. So it's like, I just stay home. I play game. I do chore. Go home, go bed. But I don't leave my home. You know, even if somebody doesn't do a lot in their life, you know, they can just make it seem like they do. I feel like if somebody knows how to talk, they can make themselves seem a lot exciting than they actually are. I don't know why I'm using, like, the boho voice right now, but... <laughs> I'm just trying to make myself sound more, um, enticing. Dude, how did I... <laughs> Catfishing? No! I would never... Dude, I love Mario Kart. I'm... I'm changing character. I mean, the streams are boring. Dude, wheel fighting for their life right now. <laughs> I mean, bro, if you go on my VOD channel and watch some of my first streams, dude, so bad. But it's also because, like, I didn't prep topics and I also didn't know how to engage properly. And also, I didn't have, I had, like, no viewers. So, obviously, no chat equals no commentary. Because a lot of people, when they first start, they anticipate that the chat will have the conversation going commentary conversation um yoshi let's do pink because i'm gay barbie <laughs> sorry <laughs> um anyway it's, it's obviously a lot easier to develop your commentary style when you have more active chatters but you can't anticipate that because you can't expect people to watch like people have to like you as a person or creator before they will watch regularly um, so you do have to learn how to stand on your own. It's a rite of passage, yeah. But I definitely think if I had viewers right away, I would not be where I'm at right now. I would probably be bigger. <laughs> you should have a watching back old stream bot stream. That would be so bad. It would be such bad content. A lot of my old bots are me not talking for like five minutes at a time and like no chatters so it would like not be visually or auditorially like entertaining should i do that for the subathon just watch back my old streams <laughs> dude that would be people click you off be like what is this but then you can commentate over it okay yeah yeah you know, we'll do that for the five-year Peace in 17 anniversary stream. I think five years is when it's, like, adequate to, like, look back at old content. Because if I'm doing, like, anniversaries now, dude, I'm only two years in. That's, like, a new startup company celebrating three years. It's, like, wait till you're five, man. Another thing to note is see how when I asked chat a direct question, everybody answered? Granted, I told you guys to fucking answer. But the true craft to stream commentary is not asking questions. Because notice how people won't keep talking if they aren't asked something directly. Like, your commentary fully depends on you, the creator, talking in a way that forms multiple tangents off of each other so therefore other people will join in on those tangents without being asked a question because if you at home are asked a question you feel like more pressure to answer and i feel like that pressure is not something that i want people to feel because i don't like if i'm watching a stream and i get or the person asked the whole chat room a question directly it feels like disingenuous as a viewer I'm like, oh, they're just asking so I feel like I have to reply, and that's kind of scum. I 
I very rarely try to ask you guys questions directly. Unless it's like relevant to what I'm already talking about. Then it's even more awkward if no one finishes. I know. I know it's so bad. Like, it's so. It's also like really sad. And you. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. He's like too. Hmm. Why are we talking so much about stream dynamics? L. Um. It is. <laughs> I can imagine it's awkward for the viewers seeing like nobody answer the question in chat, but imagine how sad it feels for the the streamer. <laughs> like, dude, it's like so discouraging. Like I I say this all the time, but if I was a smaller creator who averaged like thirty to twenty viewers and my chat wasn't active, I would be so sad. I would generally be so sad. We love the lurkers, but like if I have a chat room of let's say 10 people and five people are chatting, um, then it feels like it's more fun. Like it feels like more people like want and like what I do and genuinely want to have fun in the moment. I understand the appeal to like passively listening or watching stream content. But for me, if I'm going- if I'm gonna watch something live, I'm gonna engage. Cause then you're fully experiencing it. Unless you're like working on the company time, then keep your phone in your pocket. We don't want to take it away. I've seen that happen too. Yeah, it's really sad. Like, I feel really bad. But... You- you have to acknowledge, as a creator, there's a reason why you're commu- Ugh, community doesn't engage. Like, it takes years, months, to build your commentary and your chat room style. That's why, like, I'd rather stay small for maybe another year or two. That way I can build my chat. Hi, dog! Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Welcome in! Fuck! Oh my god, I hate this. I'm not in- wait, okay, I'm in six now. I was gonna say I'm not in eight. Ignore it, but I'm in fifth. This is the worst track of all time. I hate it. I don't understand why people like it. It's so boring. You just like- You just do tricks the whole time and you go in a circle. It's literally insanity. Circle over and over again. Excite bite stage is so good. No, it's not. Cancelled? You're cancelled. It's so bad. It's like not creative. The music is kind of fun. But otherwise, it's so lame. You just press one button. I love this track. Guys, you have such poor taste. And yes, I will do a stream ranking all Mario Kart tracks. And this will be the double F tier. It's so bad. I have fun doing the tricks. Maybe I'm just dumb brained. We call it simple minded here. We don't like calling people dumb. The layout changes when you play out. Wait. Does it? Like every lap? I know that the ramps change like every CC. Like the ramp pattern is not always the same. I know that. They don't change throughout the laps, do they? You guys are supposed to agree with me! Are you guys like, uh, are you guys hate watchers? Oh, it, it changes every game. Okay. I was like, no way, it changes every lap. <laughs> w simple mind? <laughs> I think that's the first time we've seen those three words in a single phrase.
guys. Instead of doing um slam rancher today, I think I want to keep doing marker. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Stream ends when I get another first place. Not even kidding. Mods, change the title. We're gonna make another YouTube video that's four minutes long. I am lastosophobic. I assume that's scared of lactose. Wait, I played the cheese stage earlier. Why didn't you freak out? Sorry, that's so mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love Mario Kart parasocially. I don't I don't think that's the right time to use that word. Like Mario Kart is not a person. You know, I'm a person, you can like me parasocially, but not a game. Hmm? Is that another notepad's thought you had? Oh my god, I'm so DUM. <clears throat> Yesterday I was at the bus stop, and usually if I'm at the bus stop, like I'll sing to myself, you know, I'm jamming. And I get so annoyed whenever somebody else comes to the bus stop, so then I cannot sing. And I got really so there were these two women, they come up to the bus stop. And I, I let them sit down, because one of them looked like, like middle-aged. Um, she had a shaved head, so usually I assume it's like cancer patient, right? Um, do I talk to myself? No. That's, that's not where this story is going. <laughs> so anyway, um, the, the lady with the shaved head is like, Oh, do you know where the DSH's office is? I'm like, oh, actually, like, I, I know where that is. I go there, too. Um, so... And I was helping her, like, figure out which stop to get off at. And I was like, actually, I'll, I'll go with you there. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah, well, why not? Like, I had my groceries in, like, one of those cooler bags. I was like, I can afford to be out for, like, an extra 30 minutes. That's fine. So we're on the bus. We're talking. She's telling me her whole, like, life story. And usually, um, if people talk to me, like, I'll listen. Because usually whenever strangers, like, are comfortable with you um i feel like they need somebody to listen or they need somebody to talk to them so usually i'll let them talk you know hi tanuki welcome in we were just talking about you smile anyway so she's telling her life story she's telling me about all her hardship um for context guys i'm on disability smile so i kind of understood her struggle a little bit um so she's telling me everything and she's like yeah I don't have the internet, so I can't contact my agent. I'm like, oh, that sucks. I was like, well, you can go to the library. If you need help find a library, I can like write out the directions for you or f tell you what bus route you want. Anyway, so we were talking on the bus. We get to the DSHS office and she's like, what do I say? Oh, she was telling me she was a cancer patient. Like she was on chemo years ago um, and she was still receiving benefits anyway. She's like, I don't know what to say at the counter. I'm like, okay, it's fine. So I was like, do you have a notes um, app on your phone? And she's like, what's that? And I'm like, oh, can I see your phone? <laughs> and I remember her lock screen picture was a picture of like a black Labrador and her like, like nose cuddling it. I think it's called Eskimo Kiss. And she had like longer hair and it's really cute. Anyway, so she couldn't find the notes app on her phone. And then I was looking through all her apps and I found it. And I was like writing out everything like she had to say, like writing out a script, which is what I do sometimes because it's kind of hard going into an environment that you don't know or like talking to um, DSHS agents because usually they're nice, but a lot of them can be kind of mean. So if you have like a script written out, like knowing exactly what you need to ask for, exactly what paperwork you need to request, it's a lot easier. So I was writing everything out for her. Um, Anyway, the only reason I remember this was because Kobobo said the notes app. Um, and 
So I was teaching her how to like make little notepads on her phone for like little reminders. And she's like, oh, this is gonna be so helpful because I forget so much. I'm like, oh, honey. Um, anyway, because I was thinking about this last night, like shower thoughts. I was like, why did I do that yesterday? Like, it was obviously inconveniencing me. Like, I had to spend like an extra like 15 minutes walking home when I could have just taken the bus straight home. And I have always thought about like the, my personal like, mentality behind being kind to randos um it's not necessarily that i want to be seen as a good person um it's more so that i want somebody if i'm ever at my lowest to give me that same kindness because i feel like in modern day america like obviously everybody goes through struggle and I feel like most everybody will have a point where they're at their lowest. You know, whether it be like you going through a breakup or you losing your home or you losing your job, like there's obviously degrees to it. But if I ever go through that, I want somebody to be kind to me, you know? Or that's what I, what I would hope would happen. And then I also understand that, like, if you are somebody who is going through that struggle, like, even just having one person take that extra time to be nice is so impactful, like, they will remember it. Like, it it's hard for me to think of a time where somebody, like, went out of their way for me. Besides, like, because, like, you would hope that, like, family or friends would take that extra effort, but, like, I mean in the sense of, like, people you've just met or like a stranger you know tldr because i remember i was telling my my friend this and my sister this when i got home and they're like why did you do that like what if that person was like a crackhead i'm like that doesn't matter like they're still a human because this person was expressing that they were at risk of becoming homeless. Um, obviously, I don't know all the factors, but you, you should never assume that someone who's disparaged is like an addict. Like, that's not fair. And obviously, there's multiple reasons why people um, go to substance abuse. Like, there's genetic factors, there's environmental factors. Um, like, people don't do it or don't keep doing it because they want to. Like, I don't- I don't understand the lack of sympathy that people have sometimes. You're just giving her knowledge, not money? Exactly. And, like, I was debating. Because you could- I could obviously tell that, like, this woman was really anxious, right? And, and it was funny because she has- she had a very similar medical condition that I have. Uh, like, she has spinal cord issues, too. I was like, hey, me too. <laughs> um, but I, I was debating. I was like, should I stay with her? Because um, she, she was telling me how, like, her, her Craigslist roommate was not the nicest. And I was like, I was like maybe I should, like, buy her lunch? Because I was like, I should get home at this point. And at, when I got home, I was thinking, I was like, damn, I really should have given her money for, like, McDonald's or something. Like, something cheap. That way she could, like, eat something when she's out and not take it home. You know, that way her roommate doesn't know that <laughs> she went out and bought food for herself, or just herself, right? But then I was like, you know, I feel like I did a good thing and I can't hyper fixate on me doing more. Because I already did more than what a lot of other people would have done. And granted, I didn't do much. I just, I showed her where the office was. <laughs> and I told her what to say. I don't know. Like I said, the main point is I just hope that if I'm ever in need that somebody will take that extra effort to help me. It was still nice to help out? Yeah. I 
I think it's because, like, the reason why I decided to, like, take her to the office is because having gone to DSHS, like, having to wait in the lobby for hours, like, getting denied benefits, or being told that the benefits or resources that you need will not be available to you, it's very discouraging to, when your government or your local politicians don't give a fuck about you, they don't care if you're disabled, they don't care if you're crippled, or if you're cancer, cancerous, like, it's very hard to hear. So, it's very discouraging in the sense, like, you feel like humanity is gone. Um, sorry, I don't know why I'm going down this tangent. It's just like, because whenever I go throughout my day, I always think about like the political or the philosophical like underlying tones of everything. Um, like, having experienced it, I was like, oh, I obviously know that she's going to be like, um, denied something. She's not going to get help right away. And that's news that like an agent would have to tell her, right? And that's very hard to hear. So I was like, I just want this this woman to go through her day knowing that at least one person was willing to go out of their way to help them. I don't know. I'm not sharing this story to Glaze. Okay, I'm just sharing it to like share my thought process on it. I don't know. Guys, you know what I do know? That I have to run a fucking ad, because we're two hours in. If you want to avoid that ad, subscribe. It is $4.99, just kidding. September, you get a discount if you subscribe today. Oh, did you resub, Chip? Thank you, I appreciate that, on. Thank you. We hate ads? Yes, we hate ads. And capitalism. <laughs> Let's play some Mario Kart. The sub goal, pause jam. I think going back to what we talked about earlier of not hyper focusing on other people's opinions and perceptions, it kind of coincides with that. Because in turn, if everybody is hyper focused on themselves, you can't necessarily expect people to reach out or care. That's why, like, if it's appropriate, I will do something extra sometimes. Oh my god! I'm in first! Wait, I said I am streaming if I get first. Hold. Two duh. again. I'm just gonna be mean. <laughs> yeah, I usually don't go for the ramps because I think I waste time. Guys, anybody think I can get first? Come on. Any believers? I just realized I didn't do a fucking prediction. Mods. You guys have one job to run predictions, which I am the one mod. I would like to clarify, if I ever do have mods, I will write you up. I will have a write-up system in place. I will not have people acting out of line. Okay. I was thinking about this the other day. If you get fired at your job, who 
knows that you got fired? Think. Only, like, the company and you would know that you're getting fired, right? So, like, let's say I work at McDonald's and I, like, throw a soda pop at someone and they fire me. Who would know? And I mean in the sense of, like, let's say somebody gets fired for doing something really bad. Like, hurting somebody or, like, assaulting somebody. How do other companies know if that person does not get formally charged and, like, investigated? Like, it would stay within the company. My main point is, like, I saw a TikTok, okay, <laughs> and it was talking about, like, how is there not, like, a national registry for, like, sex offenders? Or, not sex offenders, but, like, abusers. Like, domestic abusers. Because they were telling, like, an, anecdotal, a an anecdotal story of, like, how they were dating somebody who had, like, three- not warrants, that was it called? Um, who had three women against this guy who had restraining orders. And it's like, how is that information, like, not shared? Like, either between companies or, like, at a national level? It's like, I don't get why those policies aren't in place. Like, wouldn't that be protecting people? I don't get it. Wouldn't the person firing them, like, write it in? No, I mean, like, when I worked at Subway and the pizza place, if somebody got written up or if they got fired, that would only stay within the company. Like, sometimes not even corporate would see it if they were franchised. Corporate would only see it if they requested it. So it's like... Even other, like, franchises too, because they were- This is drama, rumors. Um... Because there was one guy who was, like, an, an older gentleman, like, harassing, like, the younger workers. And they just transferred him to another store. And I, it's like, why would that not be, like, shared information? Like, huh? And I'm getting it. Main point, who put the thumb in the Wendy's chili? Guys, it was me. Look, it was me. Wait, shit, I did it the wrong way, god damn it. <laughs> Fuck, I ruined the bit. Bit room. I thought it goes on, like, your record. Only if you get, like charged with it. That's why, like, mm, mm, it, it's hard. There's a lot of, like, dynamics to it, right? Like, reporting any type of, like, assault is really difficult. It's also very traumatizing. Um, and also, you don't necessarily know how law enforcement will handle it. <laughs> Try to sue them? Yes, sir. We love suing. <laughs> I didn't know Twitch Prime had overnight shipping on Amazon. I mean, kind of. Kind of. Because you can get a free Twitch Prime sub if you link it to your Twitch account. But it would work if you have a current existing Prime account. Um, TLDR... Snitch on people if they hurt you. Smile. Wario's gold mine. If I get this track, I will literally get purged. I think I'll play for like 20 more minutes. I think it's because I'm tired because I stayed up late editing. I don't know, whenever I like start working on a project, I feel like I have to finish it. 
or get as much done as I can in one sitting. Because when you're doing like editing, a lot of it is repetition, like you're trimming, you're cutting, you're splicing. So it's usually just me like getting used to the like motion of my fingers hitting the command keys that I get like addicted to in the moment. I'm like, oh, I can go for another 30 minutes. Oh, I can go for another hour. Video editing is so hard. I think trimming is not that bad. Stop! Trimming, I think, is the easiest part. Like, I used to be annoyed, like, going back and editing streams to, like, find the juicy bits. But usually, anytime I talk, it's so easy to cut to the parts where I speak. So if I'm editing down, let's say, this stream, um, I'm usually talking during, like, 80% of it. So then I only technically have to watch back 80% of the original footage. Like, when I'm editing, specifically trimming, I don't sit and watch the dead air parts, because that would be dumb. Like, that part would be trimmed out anyway. Um, I think the only... I think the dip most difficult part is, like, figuring out what type of After Effects that I obviously don't know After Effects. I don't know what type of effects I'd want to add. So that could be, like, rumble, zoom, um, color correction, color grading, motion, animation, transition. Oh, what the fuck? So I don't necessarily do too many After Effects. Like, the most I'll do is a zoom. Because I don't want them to become dis too distracting. I like trimming, but After Effects is- that's obviously the more creative part of the edit, like the final cut, but not for me. That's why I'm trying to convince my favorite sister she's in the- I know she can hear me. <laughs> I, I like- I've been telling her, I was like, if you learn After Effects, you can put little silly edits. Because she, she watches a lot of Oopaville, like- <laughs> She likes the TikTok reacts that he does because he adds a lot of like After Effects edits. I'm like, sister, you can like learn how to do that and you can do it for me. Like I will trim because I like trimming and you just add the little zooms and little screen shakes. Fifth place. Wait, did I say I'm ending stream when I get first? Did I say that? Can I scam? <laughs> can I can I revoke that quote? Just trim that part out of the board, editor. I did not say that. Oh, big blue. If I get big blue, I win. I'm actually trash at big blue though. My me is so short. <laughs> I do me. I will literally get first. So big chungus. has to be my favorite song in all of Mario Kart. Sucker for trumpets. Also, Ludwig plays it all the time, so I just subconsciously hear it way too often. First, hold. Oh, 
But this is one of the few tracks that I do like kind of move along them. I remember when I first started playing the anti-gravity tracks and I hated them, but I do think they're some of my favorites now. Oh my god, oh my god. Clutched quicker, I would have gone first. I don't do good when I have two items, I've noticed. I think it's because I get so hung up on, like, trying to find the ideal time to use the first item. Because I think the item lineup I had at the end was a coin and then a banana. I also need to do the, I also need to do the strat of, like, claiming the item box sooner by pressing left trigger. Because I forgot about that tip for the longest time. But in the most recent VOD that I edited for Minecraft clips, like, we literally talked about that too. Because if you rapidly press left trigger after you get a new item box, it makes it spawn faster. <laughs> have to click it in fast succession I think. Succession? <laughs> Obviously, first is way too far ahead. See, I think this just goes to show that I don't believe in karma. This is not why I do good things. I just wanted to screw everybody over. Stream ends when I get first. I will play until it happens.
One of my topics is what makes me angry. Losing in Mario Kart. No. <laughs> Let's give it up for day 62. <laughs> Imagine. Dude, I would have to be so bad at Mario Kart to not have a win in 62 days. That would be like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Sad. Maybe that's a sign to end. Stream ends when I get first. Unless it DCs again, because it could be my Wi Fi. I did just update my Switch this morning. Okay, my Switch has Wi-Fi. Game says, nope, I know. Or it's just trying to make me keep playing. It does not want me to end stream. Okay, I'm calibrating my Joy-Con, or my joystick. Because I don't know why it kept glitching to the right. Okay, it's not- see, look. It's fine. It's not bugging. Yeah, see, look, 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 look. I'm not doing anything. Guys, I think I broke my switch. I'm putting it to sleep. Yeah, I'm probably going to reset it. So, what did you guys do today? I know I about I asked about yesterday, but what did you guys do today? You did your driving class? Ooh, how'd it go? I need to do driving classes, man. Or I, I don't need to. You know what's fucked? Sorry. <laughs> if you're on disability, you can't have assets in your name. It's stupid. Just another day at work. Boss makes a dollar, you make a dime. Okay, the controller's not glitching anymore. Let's see. Yeah, it's not glitching. Now let's verify that it's synced. Pause. To verify that it's synced. It's good. Stream ends when I get first. Not even kidding. Watched Peace in 17 on Twitch? That's what you did all day? Woke up, watch stream, go bed. What did I do today? I I did meal prep in the morning. And then I streamed. Ate sandwich and hot cheeto. That sounds like a pretty good morning. Also watching. <laughs> Why'd you put expletives? Oh, wait, did you put a link? Did you put a link? Did you put twitch.tv slash peace in 17? 
Because I know, like, the Twitch automod will replace links with expletives. <laughs> yes? Okay, good. I was like, um... Um... Do we need to keep it on chip? Watching. Redacted. <laughs> I was playing as Luigi. I'm not bad, Kappa. We'll look at your logs and we'll find out for sure. Yeah, only VIPs can put links. Uh, why are there so many... It, domestic people? Why is everybody playing now? It's only 1pm. Chip is still a wholesome chatter. How long have you been following, Chip? Following since February, so eight months. Usually, people like change at like the three month mark, but you've stayed good. We appreciate that. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I was like, why are you saying anchovy in the chat? Are you writing our notepads? It's the guy on screen. <laughs> anchovy. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Damn, they're zooming! Oh, somebody tried to snipe him with a banana! And Jovi lost the lead, they're now in second! Oh, they had a wall in the grass! Wait, Yoshi has a shell too? Wait, look on his back! I never noticed! He has a turtle shell too. Someone should have... Someone should have gotten someone to commentate the tournament you were in? Dude, they would be shit on me so hard! They would be like, woman drivers, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> um, stream ends when I get first. I'm not good at any of these. You know what else I'm good at though? Shilling followers, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. Twitch didn't like the shilling? Yeah, dude, they want me to shill subs, not followers, obviously. Guys, I'm back. Um, tell me, is the audio synced? Is it synced? Por favor. Yeah, they, they knew if I gain a following, I would be too big. Yes, audio's good, thank you! Thank you guys. I don't know. That was fucking OBS that time. It was not my internet because we got our internet fixed. Okay. This was another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I personally hate whenever like a stranger comes into my home. So that can be like a repairman or somebody I don't know. So like uh, a friend of a friend, like a mutual friend. Like I get really anxious whenever somebody is like in my space. Because, like, for most people, like, your home or, like, your bedroom is, like, your safe place, right? So, um, we were supposed to have an internet man come by earlier in the week, and then they canceled. So, like, the day up until the guy was supposed to come over and look at our Wi-Fi box, like, I was anxious. Like, I, I could not stop hyper-fixating on, like, 
the worst that could happen. Because if anybody has anxiety, like, you know how, like, irrational thoughts work. Like, you cannot not focus on the bad thoughts that you're having, right? So I was, like, venting to my friend about it, and they're like, why? You know that's not gonna happen, though. You know, like, the the probability of, like, somebody murking you in your own home, like, the repairman doing that is very low. I was like, yeah, but that that's not how my brain thinks. Like, I just can't not think about that. But, I don't know. Because, <laughs> obviously, if you have anybody coming into your home, like repairman or whatever, like, make sure you have somebody home with you. Um, usually, if there's more people home, they'd be less inclined to do said bad thing. Or, if s something bad did happen, you probably have our witnesses, right? So never be home alone with a stranger in a home. It doesn't matter if they're in uniform, it doesn't matter. You have to do everything in your power to be proactive, I guess. Um, this, my friend was also like, well, you have, like, things to protect yourself with. Like, you got your, you got your little handheld protective shit. You know, like, how they have those, like, hand tools that you use when you're walking around. It's like, yeah, I do, but it's like, I should not be scared in my own home, you know? And also, like, having those items, yeah, they can make you feel more secure, but more often than not, like, you never know how you truly will react, like, in the moment. Like, most people will freeze, and that's a normal response. Because you can, like, hype yourself up and prepare for something that could happen, but you you don't know. Like, you don't know if your fight or flight instinct will kick in. The chance Peason won't murk us is very low, but not zero. Guys, I'm not a murderer, I promise. What did I get? I did not get first. I know I did not get first. I'm more scared of them being awkward. That is my least fear, man. Cheap, cheap beach. Easy. Even if that wouldn't happen, it's still good to process all anxieties. Exactly. Because... Me and my friend got in a little bit of a fight because usually when somebody is like having um, anxious thoughts, I would usually try to help them like break it down, like have them explain truly what they're feeling. Because when you immediately invalidate somebody right off the bat when they're trying to be open and transparent, it's only going to like damage them more so and not want to share with others in the future. So even if something that somebody is venting to me about is st stupid in my opinion i will still hear them out because you don't want to diminish what somebody else is feeling or experiencing because like it sounds super lib but like every feeling is valid every anxiety should be validated to an extent but you should not okay i think it's appropriate to validate a thought but you should not entertain it like validate it in the sense of like yeah that is it's somewhat reasonable for you to feel that way, but it's not reasonable to hyperfixate on it. I think it's the best way to explain it. Because, like, for people who have anxiety or depression, like, that's just how your brain is wired. Like, you can't stop yourself from thinking sometimes, and other people need to understand that. But anyway, I'm, I'm not mad at this friend. Like, we talked it out. Because... <laughs> you... Because... When it comes to managing, like, anxiety or depression, like, sometimes you do have to explain to your family or friends, like, how to help you. Because not everybody has those struggles, not everybody knows how to handle it, right? Because if you don't experience something, you don't know how to navigate it. So you kind of have to, like, give your friends tips and tricks to kind of gradually guide them. Because ultimately, it will help the friend like learn how to navigate those things themselves if they ever do experience it or how to best help you anyway so me and my friend talked it out and they were just like oh i just didn't they just didn't choose to validate me in that moment because they weren't seeing stop they weren't seeing how because it, it comes down to like a lack of empathy in the sense of like to me, in my opinion, if you are choosing to invalidate another, then mm, you just are unable to see yourself thinking that way, I guess. 
Damn it, Shobi. <laughs> anyway, so the maintenance people canceled, so like I was anxious for nothing. And we fixed the like internet internet remote, so everything is fine. Stop! Okay, no way I could have gone first. I if Anchovy didn't blast me, I would have won. I literally third. I literally could have gotten like second or first. Stream ends when I get first place, guys. Not kidding. And another thing I had to process with that, I guess, whole ordeal is that even if you explain how you feel to somebody else, you can't expect them to truly understand. Like, you can't go into conversations or even, like, altercations. Like, let's say you're having an argument with your parents or something. Like, you can't expect the other person to fully empathize with you. And that's just how it is sometimes. Anyway. I'm good. I learned that the hard way, yeah. It's also important to like not let it stick with you. Like just because one person invalidates how you feel, you should not expect that out of everybody because maybe that person who didn't make you feel valid it valid was just having a bad day or maybe they just weren't emotionally mature enough in that moment maybe they don't have the toolkit to know how to handle it and that's fine you just you cannot let those negative experiences stick with you I think I'm, I need a nap. Cool. <laughs> Bye, Will. Thank you for hanging out today. It was fun. We hope to see you next time. Enjoy the emotes. You better use them. I think this is one of my worst tracks of all time. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's many coins out on this track. There's three there. When it comes to boundaries, a lot of people's assumptions is that everybody has to respect those boundaries. But you have to come to the understanding that a boundary has to respect both you and that other person. Like if somebody, like, let's say your partner's like, oh, I don't want you going out at night. Like there's obviously a difference between that and Wait, is there a blue show? Why'd they stop? Is somebody sniping? Who is it? Stop. <laughs> Why'd they stop? extreme first place easy second first of the day cracked best gamer in the world i can't what was i talking about boundaries um whenever you make boundaries you have to understand the feelings of the other person you can't just demand something out of somebody else because that's inappropriate 
That's being controlling, not a boundary. Easy clap, first place on my worst track. Fuck the haters, I did it. Ooh, I like, I like all three of those tracks though. No, I said I, I'm an extreme. Committing to the bit. Nice dub, thank you. I deserve it. Okay, everybody. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here for today. Short stream, short stream, my neck hurts. I'll be honest. So. Do not worry, if you are craving more peace in 17 content, you can subscribe to my YouTube channels. I have the main channel for weekly stream highlights and the clips channel for daily clips and shorts. Um, newest video is pinned in chat. Guys, go watch it. Go subscribe. New videos out every Saturday. Um, we are going to do calligraphy. So if you donate to the channel or use your channel points, I will write your name. Also, I'm hungry. I just felt my tummy grumble. <laughs> Uh, I had an early breakfast today, that's why. Because usually I will eat, like, after I do meal prep at, like, 10, but I ate before. So I ate at 8. That's why I'm hungry. Okay, anyway. Guys. Use your channel points and I will write your name. I will give you attention. <laughs> I'm gonna get some music on for you guys. Thank you for redeeming Tanuki. Oh, why'd you do Rainbow? <laughs> That's so many letters. I will make Tanuki's name fit. Stream ends when I write Tanuki's name properly. <laughs> oh, my stomach is crumbling. <laughs> No. Yeah, today I made clam chowder for my sister and then I made myself loco moco, um, which is hamburger steak or just a hamburger patty with gravy. Yesterday was National Hamburger Day or National Cheeseburger Day and I was going to do a cooking stream, but then nobody in the house wanted burgers. So I was like, how sad would it be to make a burger for myself? Very sad. Next year, we'll do a burger stream, okay? I promise. Thank you for redeeming, Chip.
Oh, come on! Man, I tried so hard. Hi, Kimari. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hi, hon. Why are you coming in at the end of stream? Bruh. Okay, dude, look how close I am. God. Tanuki is my new anime arch nemesis. Look how close. Grr. <laughs> close enough, smile. You should have done the smile with the tear. <laughs> Green screen of the outdoors and you cook cooking burgers is the American dream. You know, I do feel like that is manifest destiny. Out and back, cooking some grills on the bobby. Guys, if you want me to write your name, I gotta do is donate to the channel, subscribe, or use your channel points. Friday this week because I was able to get most of the adult things done yesterday and today don't worry I won't leave you guys okay so this is our last name of the day if you want me to write your name all I gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points last call Last call. You guys have five seconds. Drop the playlist. Mic drop. Okay. I think we can wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching. Any chatter slurkers? Thank you. Okay. I will see you guys maybe Thursday, maybe Friday. I think plan for this week is going to be continuing Spirit Fair, which is a story resource management, but it's in 2D, so it's visually really enticing. En enticing is a weird word to use. Um, and then I want to do another work sim stream this week. So Spirit Fair, and then a long work sim, probably. I might be able to do the work sim on a Friday. Because I have to wake up early Friday anyway. Thanks, peace. See you again for sure. Thank you for watching, Tanuki. We'll see you next time. Good night. Good night.
<laughs> oh yeah, I forget the EU people, it's kind of late. Okay, guys, before I go, make sure you're following my offline social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow all three. And if you want more Peace In content, watch the YouTube video. It's on the main channel. YouTube.com slash at Peace In 17. Weekly videos. Newest video is pinned in the chat. It is, I made a breakfast feast for Chad. It was the pancake day stream that I finally edited. So go watch it. Go like it. Go leave a comment. What choose your favorite pancake? Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you for hanging out. It was a lot of fun. I love Mario Kart streams. They're, I love it because it's when everybody's the most chatty and we get to have really good discussions. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Also, no raid because nobody's live since I ended early. So I, I don't raid much anyway. It's because I don't have many friends. I guess friends in the space. Most people that I know who stream, like, stream in the evening. Like, not many people are morning frogs like me. Or they just have, like, real jobs. <laughs> Streaming can be a job, right? Wait, do I? I think I think I have. Yeah, I have full time creator tagged. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's kind of true. Gentle reminder: I will be doing a subathon on September thirtieth, the last Saturday of the month. Okay, bye guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.